Hey guys, I'm Dominique Larray. Happy Lab Week! This week is celebrating lab professionals for all that we do behind the scenes. I just wanted to say that I hope my channel provides a space for students and new professionals to find motivating and relatable content. I am welcoming everyone to post words of positivity, cool stories or inspiration for the medical laboratory field below. Um, I have also shared some links in the description box for anyone that wants to read more about the medical laboratory science profession. Tonight I'll be working in clinical chemistry. The bulk of my responsibilities as a weekday night shift tech is doing all the maintenance on all of the chemistry analyzers. On one analyzer I'm just doing daily, but the other analyzer I'm doing monthly, weekly, and daily maintenance. So it'll be a busy night. And we're also responsible for stat testing to support the ER and the ICU mainly and whatever else emergencies might happen over the night and then once morning runs start it gets hectic hopefully it's not going to be too redundant or boring of me just <laughs> doing maintenance on the analyzers but once i finish this tea i'm going to head into the hospital so i will see you guys soon so once i get to work i take report from the previous shift and i begin to wipe down my bench area for disinfecting. I also clear the pending log from any previous testing that was not done within the last 24 hours. I've already done the maintenance and QC for my first analyzer. So we're gonna pick up um, with my monthly, weekly, and daily maintenance on the second. I am basically um, replacing the photometer lamp. So I have to remove some shields and I have to get the probes out of the way so that I can get to the reaction cells. Once I take the reaction cells and reaction disc off, I can then get to the incubation bath chamber, which I just kind of wipe out. And then I can change the photometer lamp. have all these puzzles for lab week. <laughs> this one's huge. I'm trying to find time to do this. Maybe not tonight, maybe like tomorrow during the day. It's too much maintenance to do tonight. <laughs>
Okay, so I just got off of work and as you can see, it's getting really bright outside nowadays as the seasons change and stuff like that. But um, I'm actually going to stay over and go back into the hospital because we're having a coagulation seminar today over how to interpret clock curves for PT and APTT. So I think that'll be really, really helpful. And they're also gonna have Panera Bread, so incentive. And yeah, actually lab week has been really, really fun. I haven't been able to go to all the stuff that we've had um, this week, just because it happens when I'm sleeping usually. But um, we've had a lot of food catered. We had Chick-fil-A, Jason's Deli, Moe's, <laughs> Pizza Hut and several other things. I don't remember because I didn't eat it, but um, they've been nice enough to save us night shift text food and put it in a fridge for us so that we have a meal when we come into work. So that was really nice. After the seminar, I'm going to head to my second job at the college. So I'll be there till 11 a.m. And then after that, I'm going to meet my coworker for lunch. So we can talk and keep key. And then after that, we are coming back to the hospital again for a fitness class that one of my other coworkers is having because she's a fitness instructor. So that should be fun. And I have my gym clothes in my trunk. So I'm excited to attend it. Overall, it's been a great choice. Um, with having a, a little bit of over 20 years of allied health experience overall, um, I feel totally in place as a laboratory scientist. And everything I've done up until this point has led to this point. I can see myself long-term in this career, um, having options and various um, departments, um, levels of hierarchy, working at the bench top and working in, um, as a delegate. If you want to be on the um, business side, we have, we have so many options. It's crazy, but I'm happy. Do you have any advice for current students, future graduates, okay, for entering current, the field? For current students, um, that are already in the program, have been accepted or are mm -hmm. looking, okay, okay. If you've already been accepted into a laboratory science program, um, take your coursework very seriously. Um, these professors tailor it to you doing this for a living. It's not like the normal undergraduate classes where you may or may not see this in your future um, along the way in your career wise, but every single thing we've learned in these laboratory science programs, we've utilized it in one way or another. At work, yeah. Oh yeah, at work, absolutely. Yeah. So if you cheat yourself, um, studying wise and um, not have an idea, a basic understanding of what you're doing, it's gonna backfire on the work side of it. You'll see along the way um, throughout this journey, you'll see um, random sayings that we're the science behind the medicine. Um, without us, your doctor is just guessing. Um, those are not understatements, they're 100% true. <laughs> um, and we found, we've, we've found that out to be true. So you have to have integrity in this field. And um, that's another good reason if you're a student, stay on top of your coursework and understand what you're doing. It, I mean, at the end of the day, it is a big deal just because the other healthcare professions are trusting us yes. that we know what we're doing and that we are giving them the most accurate and most valid results that we possibly can. So I think that's a big thing too. Right. I'm one of those people who have to just rein it in for short term <laughs> goals. <laughs> so, um, I know you're helping me in regards to being encouraging to focus on each department at a time right now and of yeah. absorbing that, you know, training and, and competencies and things like yeah. that. Um, and enjoying that um, part of this journey. So I, um, I appreciate that. Um, you've helped me um, to stay focused there. Because <laughs> yeah. if not, I'll be trying to plan five years out from now. <laughs> I'm just so yes. focused on this mm -hmm. year at the moment because mm -hmm. what I'm learning is like time flies. Mm -hmm. Time flies mm -hmm. and you never know how, what things will end up being a month from now or two months from now. And at the moment, like the field is changing yes. so much, it's mm -hmm. hard to figure out what direction we want to go as far as the future goes. But I know like, I don't even want to say a year from now, but six months from now, I do want to feel confident. And two weeks from now, I'm going to be checked off in all departments. So uh, yes. <laughs> I'm at least going to have to be competent. But yes. I think six months from now, when I reach my year mark, I want to be competent confident in myself and my decision making. I know I'm still going to be learning new stuff along the way, but I at least want to have a groove of being able to rotate in all departments and be okay to work in all departments. Oh yeah, <laughs> but it is 
food too. They have a lot of good food so far. Yeah. It's weird trying to get it during third shift, but um, I think that's the part where we're so tired. It's mm -hmm. like one o'clock. <laughs> yes. We've been up since eight o'clock last night. Eight, nine o'clock last night. So we're tired, um, but we're about to go enjoy a fitness class from one of our coworkers. And I guess we'll see you guys later. Good <laughs> watching. We just finished our workout and had a little cupcake <laughs> afterwards. About to go home now so I can go to sleep. So I can come right back here tonight. All right, so I'm back home and I wanted to share with you all just kind of how this lab week has been going. This is my first lab week as a professional. So I wanted to vlog all the fun things that um, I would have gotten to do, but all the things the majority of things were scheduled on day shift when I'm sleeping. So it's like I either choose sleep or I choose to be uh, be sleep deprived when I have to go back to work the following night and that just wasn't going to work. But um, let me just share with you all the gifts that I've gotten. And I told you like how they catered a lot of food and stuff. But it's a hot cold tote bag and it says medical laboratory professionals always to the test. So I thought that was cute. And I got this um, book bag. Same thing, medical laboratory professionals always up to the test. And then inside, um, I put all the rest of the stuff inside of the bag. But this, I got in the mail this week from ASCLS. And it's just the cutest thing. I just thought it was just the cutest thing. And it comes with stickers. And it says, the American Society for Clinical Laboratory Science is proud of you and your accomplishment. ASCLS is here to help you make a smooth transition to your new role as a medical laboratory professional. Check out the ASCLS resources that would give you a head start in your career, such as opportunities to connect with other grads and new laboratory professionals, videos with advice from ASCLS members on how to advance in your career, and resources to help you promote the medical laboratory and advocate for the profession, which I'm interested in, actually. I think that's a great opportunity. I'm interested in that. I'm also interested in, in mentorship, like <laughs> to get a mentor, but to also be a mentor. I think that'd be a great networking thing to do. I'm part of the medical lab team. Therefore, I get great results. I'm always up to the test, make a difference, strive for excellence, and key to healthcare and exceed expectations every day, which I hope I do. So that's the new shirt I got, which is nice because it's the color of my scrubs. So I could probably wear it to work. Um, then I got this tumbler because I won a prize for one of the contests that we had. And it's just the theme this year for stuff. Medical laboratory professionals always up to the test. And um, it says you get the answers we need. No matter the challenge or test, thanks for being on our team and for always doing your best. So I'm definitely gonna use this cup because I drink tea every single day. And it comes with a nice little straw. Fancy, fancy, fancy. So this is just cute. <laughs> this is probably my favorite one just because I'll, I'm really gonna use this cup. He got me this keychain for laboratory week. <laughs> and it says medical lab scientist. And it comes with the medical symbol. I thought this was really cute because it goes with the other key change that I have. I have this one already as well. And this was when I graduated. So I got that. And then these I had on my keychain when I graduated with my first degree. And it was just for motivation purposes, but it's a DNA symbol and a microscope. And you, as you can tell, they're kind of old. So it matches the new keychain that I have for being a medical, ooh, being a medical lab scientist. So I thought that was cute. And really appreciated that he appreciates me on my public. But um, I'm getting really sleepy now. My words are slurring. <laughs> At least my thoughts are slurring. I don't know how it's gonna come out. But I do appreciate you guys for joining me on this vlog. I need to go to sleep because I am expected to go right back to work tonight. So <laughs> yes, I will talk to you later.
thank you for watching the vlog please be on the lookout for more future videos and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to keep up with my journey in the laboratory i'll see you next time